trying to pretend that I'm ready to print this, which obviously I am not, that if you have a color one and then one that you have made like this, you're going to want to possibly print them and, and probably put them in your blog. When we look at a screen like this, our resolution for reading it on the computer is 72 dots per inch. But the minimum for printing should be 150 dots per inch or um, 300 dots per inch is what I prefer to do. So when you're looking at your image size here, and you go into image size, that um, as you can see, my resolution is 72 for this, and it's 22 inches, which is pretty good for being able to go online. But look what happens if I change my resolution to 300 dots. Now, for the one that we made in Illustrator, it should be pretty good because it's already clean and hard edged and then these um, lines are clean and hard edged but if it's not vectors and we've made all of this so far with vectors it's really going to pixelize and have those funny looking jagged corners so how you get away from doing that is start with the right resolution on your piece for printing to begin with because you can always make it smaller so even though that's vector and I'm looking at that blown up, can you see how that's now blurred some? And when you print, if you don't want that blurry, you can take, so if you take something with your camera and it may be 22 inches, but it's going to be the 72 resolution. You're going to click this button here to resample it. I kind of have to undo what I just did in order for that to be right. Step backwards. Image size and we click away the resample and make that 300. That's going to change the width and the height so that that no longer blurs. And when I go in really close, 200%, I should still have fairly clean 100%, you 100%, fairly keen edges so that still prints as a really nice image size. So when you're going to print something, make that resolution 300 to begin with. When you're doing it for web, then I'm going to step backwards again. And we're going to save then everything that you save once it's finished. Look at the image size and the resolution. If it's print size, then we'll make that resolution at 300 and it's only going to be five inches so far, but it will be a clean thing. And we'll save it as whatever your title is going to be and put print behind it so that you know this is your print document. You want to do that with everything you save so that we know that you have looked at your resolution and that's the right printing size resolution. Otherwise you'll have blurry pieces that you don't like. But when we're ready to save it for web then, I can come back to the image size and undo all of that and change my resolution back to 72. And then probably I want to make my images no bigger than 10 inches. So I'm going to change that to 10. Now it's going to be 100% it should be about the right size then to be on the web page. I don't want to ever put anything completely beautiful up there online so that someone could just take it and print it and keep it because it should be mine. So then I can go file to save as or cancel. On CC 2017 we can export it export it to save for web and then it'll show you what size it is down here in the corner and you can choose the resolution 
I don't want it to save anything at maximum or very high because I'm just giving them examples of my work. I don't want them to have my actual work. And then I will save and make sure I put web in that name. It was called box print. And just to make sure I say both, I'm going to go box web and save. All right, so for Wednesday when you come in, I want you to be able to put your colored straight mandala on the internet for sure. And then if you get this one done in time, um, your regular design decorative one on the internet as well. And we'll go into the next step of playing with the color schemes of that so that we can change the colors to what you've already made. So you should have two finished ones that are print worthy and two finished ones that are web worthy. Does that make sense to everybody? All right, that's it. I will put that out there for you as well. And that's all on saving saving your things so you can put them on your blog. So yeah, you're gonna have problems. That's what I thought was going on. So you're going to have problems with, with it because your computer is an older computer. But. So everything that you saved the other day, I guess, is not there? No, oh, they're see. there. Mm -hmm. You're just going to have problems with it dying. And so what you probably will want to do is save every five minutes in case the computer crashes and you won't lose your work because it will. Because the RAM is the memory that keeps it running and mem remembers what you're doing. So you save every two to five minutes so that, um, but then your RAM is, RAM cache is going to, remember cache? Uh -huh. RAM cache is going to fill up and we may have to restart your computer for that reason too. If, so. if, it, if it would crash, does it crash the whole computer and nothing that is in there? You have to restart. Yeah, and it won't save. So that's why you're going to save for what? it. This is not going to crash on any of these. That we could work 10 hours, and unless some terrible tragedy happens, that won't happen. But in the old days, this is what we had to do because they would crash. Oh, I see. But okay, it, you're good. Okay, I, I'm going to let go. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want us to finish um, this whole project uh, by Monday? Well, so Monday is no school. Monday's in the school? Yes. Oh, Labor, Labor Day. Day. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Wednesday is when I will see you next. Okay. So do what you can do. Yeah. You know, that most yeah. most everybody will still probably be working on this. Okay. But um, at least have one so that you can start playing with color. You already had one colored. Yeah. So you're good. But, but if you want to, now you know what we're going to do next. So we'll put them online the way they are, and then we'll start changing the colors and changing the textures and things. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, you want, um, do you want me to post just like the outlined, uh, uncolored version on there? You can do both if okay. you want to. It's just up to you on what you want to put in your blog. Oh, okay. I know that if it's colored, you have the outline one. So. Yeah. All right. Um, do you want us to post that on the blog before mm -hmm. next Wednesday? I'll have everybody do that, and we'll do a critique, mm -hmm. and then we'll go on. We'll, you know, hopefully everyone will have one thing mm -hmm. up there. That even if it's not unfinished, I'm going to have everybody put one of them up there, and we'll do okay. a critique, and then we'll go on and talk about changing the colors, changing okay. the color schemes. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry You're for, welcome. Sorry no for problem. My responsibility. I ca I <laughs> carry mine with me because I know it's going to die. <laughs> yeah. I thought my better battery was better than that, so no. I apologize. For not an issue. That you know, no. Yeah. So I'll bring my charger next time, and thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good Labor Day weekend. Have a nice weekend.